In this video, I want to talk about permissions when you share files and folders in Google Drive. It's really important to understand this. You do not want to make a mistake sharing content from Google, your Google Drive and overshare. Or you don't want to create a situation where you only want someone to get access to a few files and you give them access to the entire folder and they have access more access than you want. Or you don't want to create a situation where you want someone to see a folder or see a file, but you don't want them to edit it. And so you need to use the right permissions level to do that. Furthermore, it's important to understand that when you're sharing publicly, you want to be very careful not to give the public, the general public, which means people who may not even be logged into Google, you may not want to give them different level of access to certain files or documents or folders in your Google Drive. Before we go into this, I'll share with you, if you like this information, if this is helpful for you in any way, please do me a favor, like the video, comment on the video and ask me any question and I'll help you any way I can. Furthermore, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell because there's a lot more content that I'm producing in this ultimate guide to Google Drive that I hope could be helpful to you. Let's talk about permissions when you share a file. I'm going to go to Google Documents stuff, and here's this file right here. I'm going to, I'm going to share this file. By, by the way, you can see it's not being shared because there's no share icon. Unlike this anonymous viewers, there is a shared icon. So that's being shared right now. But let's look at this folder, and let's go to share. Now, under share, there are three really important levels of permission. When I go to give permission to Teddy Burris at Gmail, right there, Teddy Burris at Gmail, there's three levels of permission. Viewer, which is the simplest, they can actually see the document, but they can't do anything with it. Might be able to uh, print or download or copy, but they can only view it, they can't change it. Commenter, they really can't change it, but what commenter means is that they can uh, highlight text, they can delete text or add text, and really all they're doing is creating a comment to recommend this change to the document. They're not changing it, they're just staging a potential change and making it a request. Editor is full access. If you give someone editing access of a document, a, a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, a Google File, a Slide, a Google Form, whatever it is, they have full access to change it just as you do. And so do, you got to be very careful. What do you want that person to get access to? Do you want them just to see it? Do you want them to you know, comment and make recommendations? Or do you want them to have full access to it? Be very deliberate. I would never give someone I don't know full editor access to any of my documents. That's dangerous. Now there's another level of security or permissions when you give someone editor access. Under the sprocket, I have the ability to un uncheck this. Editors can change permissions and share it. If I uncheck that, as an editor, I cannot change the sharing permissions and I also cannot share it with someone else. Now, the, a dialog box comes up under sharing, but all that dialog box is doing is sending a message to the owner requesting that they share it with someone else. So you can turn that off if you don't want some, the editors to change the sharing permissions or, or to share it. Furthermore, you can also uncheck this box, which allows viewers and commenters to see the options for download print and copy. So if you turn that off under the file menu for those documents, they will not see print, download, or copy. So again, these are just two different levels of permission when you share a file with someone either with editing mode or viewer mode. So I'm going to leave this in editor mode and hit and send Teddy a message. Hey, here is the doc. And send it. Now I've just given Teddy Burris at Gmail full editing permission of this file right here. Now I know it's being shared because again, there's the icon that says it's shared, but I can, so I can highlight that again, click the share button, and I can see that Teddy Burris at Gmail, I have given him editor access, and now I can remove it and hit save. 
So permissions, when you share files, it's important to pay attention to it. Let's look at one more level of permissions when you share a file, and that is under general access. General access is what I refer to as public access. This is publicly accessing this document. Right now, no one can access it unless they have a link. And I'm not sharing it with anybody, so those other people don't have a link. Because right there, I'm the owner. Now, I can change this to say anyone with the link. Okay, And I can copy that link right there, and I can say anyone with the link, public, this is totally public, don't even need to be logged into Gmail, I can say that the publicly, they can be a viewer, a commenter, or an editor. Now you want to be very careful making a document available to the general public and set them up as editor. That is very dangerous to do. I would actually would not recommend that you ever do that. I actually do not recommend that you even let the general public be a commenter. The most I would normally do for general access is a viewer. Um, so when you do that and you copy the link, again, so anybody on the internet with that link can come in here, get to that document, and if I've given them view access, all they have the ability to do is view. They can't change this content in any way. Now, they can request edit access, but they would have to be logged into a Google account to request uh, edit access. Now, that's interesting. You have to be logged into a Google account to request uh, edit access. However, you do, uh, you do not have to have a Google account to be an editor. Update, copy link, done. Let's go back to the uh, on the internet. Not logged into Google at all, and I just said the general public has the ability to edit it. I have full editing capability, even though I am not signed in. So I can add stuff, I can put text in this, in this document, I can change text in this document, even though I am not signed into Google. But the reason why I have access to do that is because the owner, which is me, said anyone with the link can be an editor. And again, I strongly discourage doing that. Change it back to restricted, hit done, and now this document is not being shared with anyone, let alone the general public. Let's look at another level or another aspect of permissions when you're sharing from Google Drive, and that is sharing folders. If I take this folder right here and I share it, and I say I wanna give Teddy Burris at Gmail full editor access and send it to him, look what happens. I go to Teddy Burris at Gmail. There's the email that gets sent to him. If I click on that email, you can see that uh, Burris Consulting at Gmail has invited you to, contrib to contribute to the shared folder. I can open the folder there, I can open it there, or I can go to Google Drive. I can go to Share With Me and there's the folder that was shared with me. Now this is what's important because that folder was shared with full editor access. Not only can I see every document in that folder, but I also have full editing capability. I am in edit mode. I have full editing capability of this document. Not only can I edit the document, but I can also rename the document. And, and furthermore, because I'm given full editing capability of this folder, not only do I have access to everything in it, but I can also share this forward and I can share it with other people. R.L. Burris, I can share it with her. I can make her an editor, a commenter, or a viewer. Now remember, there's a setting when you share for editors that you can disable changing permissions and or sharing documents. And if you really don't want someone, if you only want them to be able to edit it, but you do not want them to share it, then you got to be very deliberate when you're sharing this. Come back here, go to share, hit this sprocket. Editors can change permissions and share. Turn that off and hit done. And now if I go back to Teddy Burris at Gmail, Teddy Burris no longer has the ability to share it. The only thing he'll have the ability to do is he can ask the owner to share it.
but he cannot share it himself. And furthermore, he does not have the ability to change permissions of those it's already shared with. Can't change general access either. So be very deliberate when you're sharing content not to give someone more permission than they need. And furthermore, to be very, uh, something else to share with you, a, a bug I found, I've turned off this right here. Editors can change permissions and share. I said, I turned that off so they cannot uh, change permissions and share for this folder. But let me show you something here, hit done. If I go back to Teddy Burris at Gmail. Now remember, up top here was share, Hit the share button, I can only ask that this folder be shared. That's the folder. This is something to be very careful with. For this individual file, hit the share button. I can share this with RL Burris. I can make her an editor, reviewer, or commenter. This is important. Let me make sure you understand this. This is really important. Even though I turned off, editors can change permissions and share the folder. I turn that off so they can't do it. They've got to ask the owner to do it. Ask owner. Even though that's off, I can still, if I want to, right click, share this, fo this file, and I can share it anywhere I want and give that person view, comment, or editor. And by the way, I can also say that they can't do that. I can make these changes here, but the bug that I'm trying to share with you that I refer to as a bug is that I think that if I don't have permission to share the folder, I should not have permission to share the files in the folder. However, Google's made a decision that despite not being able to share the folder, editors of the folder can share the files in the folder. Again, what I'm sharing with showing you right here is you need to pay attention to the permissions in Google Drive. When you're sharing files with individuals, sharing files publicly, when you're sharing folders with individuals, and you can also, I didn't show you this to you, I can share this folder if I want to with any one of the link. And again, even more so, I would strongly discourage making a link to a folder to for anyone on the internet to be editor or commenter of a folder. Maybe a viewer, that's fine, but I really do not recommend that you ever share a folder and you give someone full editor, let alone commenter, but full editor permissions of the content in that folder. So I just shared that for anybody in the uh, anybody on the internet, if I get that link, copy the link, Go up here and do incognito, which means anybody on the internet. So I can see the entire folder, but if I go to open any file, because I'm only a viewer, I only have the ability to view. I do not have the ability to edit it. I cannot delete this content. I cannot add content. I can request access, but again, you would have to be logged in with your Google account in order to request access. But I have access to view every document that's in this folder. I can see it all. Again, I offer this, be very purposeful about what you're sharing and how you're sharing. It is possible that you should not give somebody full access. You should not give the public full access. If your real goal is only to give them access to an individual file or their access to view an individual file. Permissions in Google Drive can be very powerful, can also be dangerous if you do it the wrong way. So think about what you're doing and be careful. And if you make a mistake, you want to come back in here, you want to undo it so that you take away the permissions that you may have inadvertently given somebody. Hey, I share a lot of content about Google Drive and sharing on Google Drive in this series. Again, do me a favor, like the video if it's useful, comment if you have any other question, and uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, because I have a lot more content coming to help you be more deliberate and effective using Google Drive.